Alright fellas, I'm gonna attempt to do a tutorial for this dubstep remix of Strange Clouds by Ass Hunter. Uh, don't ask about my name, um, <laughs> yeah, just don't ask about it. Anyways, I'll just play the, the first bit until the first drop and then show you how I did it. Okay, so I didn't actually add too, too much, but I'll go back to the beginning and show you what I added and how I did it, starting here. <laughs> So all that was was just a big crash played backwards to make that uh, effect, so um, I'll show you how I did that, it's pretty simple. So if I click down here on my crash, just the little button there, it should say reverse, and just click on that. And Boom, that's what it sounds like. So next is the drums here, I'll show you uh, what it sounds like here. And I had to make a bunch of patterns of drums because the song was a little offbeat. So I had to fix it to match the beat. Just a bit of a pain, but I did it. Uh, also, at the beginning here, I just um, cut part of the song and just repeated it a bunch. So there could be a little bit of a build before the drop. So that's not that hard to do. Just get your slicing device and cut it. And uh, right before the drop, I had a Build drum up with the. What the hell is a build drum up? Um, right here. And I just repeated the haze a bunch of times. I don't know. It just sounds better. So here's what the. Yeah. So that's a little drum build up for the drop and, uh,. Show you how I did the drop here now, which is probably what you want to hear. So there's the drop. Um, I'll show you how I did that here. I used massive to make the sounds. So that's what the first pattern sounds like by itself. Um, there's another pattern to using the same sound. I'll show you what that sounds like here. Um, here it is. Alright, so here is massive what I made it with. I don't know if you can follow this really, but might be a little confusing. Um, and our first oscillator, we got chrome, I believe. Yeah, it's chrome. Our second oscillator, modern talking, LFO5, it's on performer. And just have that little, uh, little bend here. 
makes that noise. Down at the bottom here we have sign shape or an insert one, um, insert two, oops, insert two is frequency shifter, I don't think it really matters though. Uh, FX1 classic tube, FX2 we have phaser and our equalizer we have on. And then just drag the LFO5 into the filter one cutoff, filter one resonance, oscillator position, and oscillator two position. Everything else stays the same and just drag the knobs in the same position as mine. It should sound pretty similar. And I just use that noise to make those patterns, put them in the song, and I that's pretty much the only noise I use for the song. Not actually that much. No last call to the bartender, what you got left? Pull it up, don't stop there. Hold your cup, take a shot, yeah. All night we celebrate, cause we everywhere and you not there. All we do is pour it up all night. I keep saying so. All that was was a little bass line I added, uh, also using Massive, just in the chorus. Um, it's hardly even noticeable, but yeah, that's about it. Then the rest of the song is pretty much the same as the first drop. I just cut and paste everything, pretty much. Not much different. Um, yeah. This is probably a little long for most of you to watch the whole thing, but that is what I, that's how I made the song, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask.